Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel and you're watching episode number 14 of Dinner is Served featuring Happy China in Springfield, Missouri. All right, it is time to eat. I've been very, very excited about this one since creating this series. Dinner is served by my friends at Happy China. When I want Chinese food here in Springfield, Missouri, I usually go to Happy China. So I got all kinds of stuff on their menu. Let's explain it now. I got all kinds of deliciousness for this home Chinese food challenge, starting with appetizers. I got some delicious looking crab rangoon, some egg rolls, and then it's technically not an appetizer, but I got an order of their sweet and sour pork. I asked everybody on Facebook what I should order and I got over 250 much appreciated comments. Many people mentioned the soup, so I got some egg drop soup, which I love, and then I got their hot and sour soup as well. I got two different Chinese chicken dishes and I can't wait to eat them. I love General Tso's chicken and then we're here in Springfield, so I got some Springfield famous cashew chicken. I don't actually know what these are and I've never had them before, but I love the movie Mulan and then all the Rush Hour movies. So I got some of their pork mushu, which came with four mandarin pancakes, which are pretty much just like wraps. I've never had this before either, but so many people recommended it on Facebook. I got an order of their hot and spicy Singapore May Fun noodles. I've had this before and it's always delicious. A lot of people recommended that I get some of their shrimp egg foo yum. The last two items I ordered both have some healthy vegetables. I got some of their vegetable lo mein and then an order of their Szechuan beef. All right, it is time to dominate some Chinese food. This is gonna be awesome. I'm really hoping that this home food challenge takes fewer minutes than it did for me to actually order everything. Happy China had just so many different options that I didn't really know what to pick, but I'm pretty happy with what I ordered. Everything here was just under $70, and then with tip, it all came out to $83.47. But great to support the hardworking staff at Happy China here in Springfield, Missouri. Let's shut up and eat starting with the appetizers, some of this sweet and sour pork, and then I'm really scared of all these Singapore noodles, so we're gonna eat those early on too, but whew, let's do it. One, two, three, boom. All right, and then this is a lot of food, so I don't think I'm gonna drink too much water. I'm gonna use the soups as liquid to help get everything down, but whew, let's do it. Oh yeah, that's spicy. That's flavorful though, that's good. I've had these before, I knew they were gonna be good. There's not just shrimp in here either. I think there's pork and some other meats too. This is good. Let's crank out some of these appetizers. You can't go to an Americanized Chinese food place and not get crab ragoon, so last one of those. This right here is some gravy for the Springfield cashew chicken. I'm gonna try some of this in the gravy. Revolutionary. Oh, that is good. Oh, all right, seven minutes and 54 seconds in. Next up, we'll finish this shrimp egg foo yum. Egg foo young with egg drop soup. Mm. I forgot to add in the fried wonton noodles. Mm. 
Brown gravy is like French red hot sauce. It goes good on everything, except for ice cream. Done with the egg drop soup. Next we got hot and sour. Gonna get these off camera. I am most scared of this plate next. So we're gonna have the vegetable lo mein noodles and then the Szechuan beef. I always get these at Chinese buffets. For anybody who hasn't seen yet, I did invest, it's 2020, I've got some sweet new knee pads that I'm going to be wearing during all the food challenges, but oh, I don't think I really truly need it, but I'm going to have some diet soda along the way just to help get the rest of this down. I have lived in Springfield for almost eight years total now, but I am not a cashew chicken connoisseur. Arthur Donovan Davis, our Springfield cashew chicken consultant, senior consultant, recommended that I pour the gravy on the chicken. So we are going to do that. And hopefully this helps it go down faster because I am struggling. This was a lot of food. All right, we are 41 minutes in, a little bit more than that. Oh, I think I'm eating these right. I just, we got five of their pancakes and we're wrapping them up and eating them individually. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. It's pretty salty, but the flavor of it all is pretty good. All right, that didn't work. So maybe I'm not doing it right, but we'll double it up. That is hot and sour soup, that's for sure. There's a learning curve to eating Mushu. I'm not enjoying this as much as I would if I had had it earlier, but oh, this is pretty good hot and sour soup. This has more stuff in it than the egg drop.
And just like in the thousand dollar Chinese food video, I'm sure there's gonna be comments about how I was hungry two hours later too, because it's Chinese food, but oh, that is not gonna happen. Holy crap, he did it! Oh my gosh! Not him. Oh, I'm gonna finish strong. 57 minutes and 38 seconds in. I rode my stationary bike Stacy yesterday for four hours, almost 80 miles total. So I've been hungry ever since, and like I've said about 12 times before, I ordered way too much food. But that all was delicious, especially enjoyed all the stuff I started out with. My favorites were the Singapore May Fun Noodles, along with the Crab Ragoon were great. Enjoyed the filling of the Mushu, I just didn't really understand the pancakes involved. But big thanks again to everybody at Happy China here in Springfield, Missouri. If you live around the area, definitely check them out. They've got some awesome food, a massive menu. If you don't live around the area, hopefully this video inspired you and made you hungry for some Chinese food to the point where you wanna go out and support a similar small business near you. Thanks for watching.